so much we want to show you today. First, we are going to go on a tuk-tuk. We've been seeing them around the city and it looks so, so awesome. Next, we're going to go find some food and then later on, we're going to go see some faro, I think it's called. It's like the traditional Portuguese music. So we have never seen it before. I don't even know what to expect, but I am really, really stoked. like oil and like some herbs and stuff on it we haven't really had them yet so we we, we want to try them out um, but we absolutely love studying since Madrid we're like extremely fans since Madrid, okay David what do you think I don't know this is bacalao we've been loving this one so okay, and I don't know yeah and maybe some sardines okay this one is with olive oil and garlic Maybe something with tomato? Okay. Okay, so what we have here is some bacalao. Okay, so we were just walking around and we keep seeing all of these tuk-tuks which we found quite quite interesting and so then we found an office that sold some tickets and I think it's about 25 euros each and the guy is gonna pick us up from around here we just had lunch and um, I think it's a one-hour tour so I'm super excited to give that a shot um, I think that he's gonna take us to um, some really nice little streets and maybe a few monuments, but we're not quite sure yet. Stay tuned. that the tiles that they have up on the buildings uh, trace back to the Muslims and the reason why they put them on the buildings was to reflect the sun so the houses wouldn't get so hot then the Portuguese decided to keep it because it's extremely beautiful <laughs> the mojitos he knows that we do like to drink a little bit so he's going to introduce us to a drink called medronio which is made from little small oranges 
Um, he said it's a very, very strong though. So I love this place. I was saying, do when I have sometimes when I have a date? All right. So we couldn't go onto the timeout market because for some reason you needed a COVID test um, to get in, which is kind of funny um, because we thought that was just for flights and stuff. So we decided to come to the next most best place, most best place, um, which is that street. You know, it has the tram that comes down and it's all tight and cute, and everyone wants to come and take videos and photos. So we figure we would do the same, apart from the fact that the tram is not running at the moment because of COVID. Thanks COVID. But to be honest, I think there's been quite a lot of pros and cons of traveling during COVID. The pros are that when you go to a lot of really, really popular busy places, you get in straight away. The cons are that lots and lots of places are closed. You're one of a kind. What are you doing? <laughs> making it better. Okay, we're at a place here called O Trevo and they have these sandwiches which are like you like really traditional Portuguese sandwiches. Oh, you put peri peri sauce on them and mustard and it makes them like amazing. to catch the 11 I think it is no the 15 <laughs> and it's three euros each and behind me here is the monastery and we're gonna go make our way to the I think it's called the Torre like the tower and it's along the water and it should be really nice the day is so so hot and beautiful and I think I need another beer I don't know what I want I don't know what I need but I feel a little lost in balance when I think of you and me. So now we're I don't know what I want I don't know what I need But I feel there's something and That's all 
I know about it. It's really, really big. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I need. But I feel a little lost of balance when I think of you and me. Definitely beautiful. I'm not sure. Like I think if you don't have that much time here, I probably wouldn't come just because um, I don't know. I think that there's probably lots more to do in actually like the center of Lisbon. But if you have like a week here, definitely come check it out. It's just like maybe not my kind of tourism. <laughs> on and some jeans and I have a jacket because it's actually been quite windy today but I am super super hungry it's been such a long time since I felt this good on my Absolutely delicious. A gazpacho and a tostada de bacalao. And seriously, so, so good. No so we ordered this, but, but um, so this is probably like one of the only places here in um, Lisbon that doesn't have an English menu. Because which most is good, places which is have good. like English, Italian, French, French German, <laughs> no, like Spanish, Spanish. And, and, and Portuguese. And so we just picked like two things from the menu and this looks like the most delicious thing I've ever seen and I can smell it and it smells good. And then that looks like the classic Portuguese dish which is like fish and rice, so like a risotto type thing and we have loved this so much. Okay. So it's confirmed, it tastes just as good as it looks. These are actually ribs and David has like a bacalao and um, octopus rice and wow, I'm like blown away. Go Lisbon. Freaking good. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are ending the day with the aguardiente, which is um, a really common drink here in Portugal. This is so, so delicious. It kind of tastes like rum. Oh, I wish you could smell it. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I want to just ask, if you want to hear more about kind of like our travel in terms of like how hard it is to get to specific places like 
if you'd actually like to watch us catching the train or the bus or the plane or talk more about sort of the difficulties, comment down below because we've kind of been leaving out the sort of more difficult things but if you would like us to add them into the videos just let us know but if you prefer just to watch mostly the fun stuff then also let us know. Next stop we're going to Madrid then Costa Rica and then Mexico. Maybe I'll explain in the next video if you would like but thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to continue to see our adventures. So give us a thumbs up. Bye. I come and go like a ride, ride round. They don't want the two be going on.